Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Koppel Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Koppel. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at koppelcars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. Put lawn irrigation on automatic. Think Judson Irrigation for worry-free service to Lincoln homeowners and business community. Judson Irrigation will turn on your sprinkler system in the spring, repair or redesign as needed, and turn it off in the fall. For service to orphan sprinklers, remember Judson Irrigation. They'll never forget you. Call the Judson Irrigation Orphanage, 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. Finally, a good reason to have a smart house. Just say, Alexa, play 93.7 The Ticket, and we'll magically start playing. How's it work? Nobody knows. Don't ask questions. This is the happy hour. You guys want a happy hour? Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America. Yeah, maybe I'll go for a couple. Here are your hosts, Nick Sainert. I am a huge guy. And Enrique Alvarez Cleary. C is for chunk. <laughs> Brought to you by Empire Fence and Netting. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Happy Tuesday. It's the happy hour 93.7 The Ticket, theticketfm.com. That's right. Once again, on a, at noon, here we are coming your way from 1040 O Street down here at the 93.7 The Ticket Studios. Come on down. Grab yourself some milk, coffee, and or tea, and or beer. They got beer and wine. Come on down. Hang out. Uh, have a party on a Tuesday. Uh, Nick Sainer, Rico, Jay Foreman with you as uh, we got some basketball conversations to have. Uh, over the next 20, 25 minutes or so, you guys can chime in all day long, 402-464-5685, the Honda Lincoln Hotline and the Sarder Heyman Text Line, as well as the Sarder Heyman Jewelers live video stream, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Allo Channel 961, all avenues for you to get in touch with the show. Rico, hello. Hello. How's the day? Fantastic. Enjoy the game last night? I did. I missed the first half because I was putting KJ to sleep, but I saw the second half. Oh, Jay? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My the room. How how was how's the day? It's magical. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, Jay, did you enjoy the game last night? I did, man. It was uh first half obviously was was way more competitive and yeah. then UConn just did what they always do. They made adjustments and they just stifled. Um it's a little disappointing for Purdue. I felt like in the first half they got plenty of good shots. Just they, mm -hmm. I mean, it was just Zach Eady and nobody else. He had zero help, and that's you're, you're not going to win. It, but you listen to uh, Dan uh, early afterwards. That was their game plan. Mm -hmm. They would have been okay with Zach Eady getting 50 points. Just don't let anybody else score any points. It is fascinating as we get to like the NCAA tournaments. We talk about game plans because in in this year's case, both with women's basketball and men's basketball, women's it was South Carolina trying to stop or slow down Caitlin Clark. Yeah. And they did so, right? Yeah. She she dropped 18 in the first quarter, then went five for 20 the rest of the way and just made one single three-point shot in the final three quarters. 
and and Don Staley post game, one of the first things or first people she shouted out was their director of scouting for South Carolina. Then yesterday you had it. You mentioned Dan Hurley. Zach Eady dropped 37. The rest of the team combined for 23. Yeah, it's not, not a recipe. Yeah, I mean, when you look at Caitlin Clark, they, um, you know, switched up the way they played her. They were, you know, put a little bit of faster, um, you know, defender on her, and they just wore her out. And, look, you're, you're playing two games in essentially a day and a half. And yeah. so you, you just naturally, no matter who you are, you're going to be tired. So Caitlin Clark, they're extremely physical with her. They looked at her tendencies. They also knew Iowa couldn't come up with a um, specific game plan for it or as detailed game plan, and they probably advanced scouted her, especially um, the way South Carolina was able to, you know, pretty much dominate their final yeah. four game. They probably were a little bit fresher. But when you have one one player in Kayla Clark's, um, you know, uh, take her instance where she's a she became a volume score right 20 shots and three quarters mm -hmm. that's seven shots that's a lot of sh shooting and there was Zach Eady he they had to go into him because he was the only one with a with a heartbeat and pulse well guess what he was killing them inside but there wasn't a lot of stoppage in between the tv timeouts so you saw him towards the end of the first quarter or first half he was a little bit winded mm -hmm. and then they were being physical with him he had to work for everything and you know it's it's you need two or three players, and that's what UConn has. That's what uh, South Carolina has, and that's what all champions usually have: two or three players that can really that play well, but that can bring it, you know, bring it home. Well, they were talking about on the broadcast how you know Edie, when they have success, he has a couple of assists, and in that first half, I don't think he had any assists. And they were talking about how Klingon was doing a really good job of getting to the spot, getting on the shoulder that Edie wanted to go over, and, and work forcing for him to take yeah. tough shots where right? he's not yeah. going to get the easy shots. But they're not going to double him. Yeah. They're not going to double him. They 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 trusted Klingon to do his job, and he did a fantastic, a masterful job on Edie. Um, aside, from, you know, he's scoring all those points, but he's working hard for it. And like you said, not a lot of time in the TV timeout, so he's staying in there practically the entire game, and he's getting gas because he's the only one that can do anything. Well, then also a sneaky thing they did is they changed changed it up. They Klingon went out, then they brought in Johnson, thirty five, their backup yep. uh, center forward or whatever. And he was as physical as he could be with um, Zach Eady. But what he did was he's faster, mm -hmm. right, up and down the court. So he essentially played defense while he was on offense. Yeah. Yes, he fouled out, and he only had four points. But his job was to kind of be the, like the counter puncher. Like, Klingon was going to be the power puncher. This yep. guy was going to provide the quickness and, and also change up the looks that Eady was going to see defensively because Eady might have started to get used to the physicality of going through Klingon. Um, but then here comes Johnson is a different, you know, he can beat you to the spot. He can make you uh, go different ways. And, you know, look, their, their offense and defensive game plan was phenomenal. It's, it's incredible because you mentioned the, the two or three players that each team kind of needs to have to win a title. Purdue had it. Like Purdue has Purdue. They just players. didn't play well. They just didn't play well. Like, they played. They I, didn't. Nobody played well. I, all of I felt like a, a place where Purdue could have, won last night was they or excuse me if purdue was going to win last night they were going to need to make their like mid-range yeah the mid -range and they missed shots. all of them yeah and they missed all of them right yeah, they're, was, getting, they, they had, they're getting good looks in the mid -range. they, they yeah, only they only yeah. attempted seven three-pointers they made yeah. one of them zach ed had goes 15 of 25 from the right. field i mean your, your big guy that yes you feature all the time and exclusively takes 25 shots because and, and and he's a back to the basket type of guy, right? I mean, none of their guys. I mean, Gillis didn't do anything. Yeah. Um. Was it Heath? Or, he came and he had yep. this little putback dunk. But besides that, that not much. It. Um. None of their guards played. I mean, they. I, I wouldn't say they were scared. They just played like garbage. Yep. I mean, they just didn't play well. And they, they ha they don't have the depth of UConn as far. As, I think UConn can go eight nine and just mm -hmm. still play with that same team or same rotation. Whereas Purdue, I think, is probably about six or seven, but none of the guys that were starting in their crucial positions were able to even play close to the to the the game that Newton played, right? So, so Newton ended up with like nineteen points, I think. Yes. Um, and so twenty. Okay, twenty. So if Purdue guards could at least combined for eighteen. Yeah. It's a total different ball game because that means you're putting more pressure back on UConn defensively. You couldn't hit a broadside of a barn, and 
you know, you saw Zach Eady in the first half. He started to hit some of those difficult shots like the jump hook and stuff like that. Then they started to come up a little mm-hmm. bit short and way off target in the second half. Now that's a byproduct of a little bit of defense adjustment, but then also getting tired a little bit. But then everybody else was standing around watching. And so um, – which that that fed into where UConn wasn't doubling when Klingon was in the game. When they took him out, they would double. Mm-hmm. But like you said, Purdue, they're just standing around watching. So they some of the guards have the ability to, you know, guard two people at once. So even if he gets doubled, he passes it out. They're closing out extremely quickly. So they're yeah. not able to get those three pointers off and they're missing all the mid ranges that they take. Yeah, one thing if you go back and listen to Dan Hurley last year and the year before. They have no they they play no they have no discrepancies on, on how they play defense. Mm-hmm. Right. They say that no matter who it is, we're gonna close out like you're, you know, an all American. So they're treating everybody the same. So it's constant pressure. Mm-hmm. Constant pressure. And then when you have depth to do it, there is no let up. And I don't I don't think people have seen and, and also one thing that people don't give enough credit to UConn is, and that's because you're going against Purdue with the seven foot four center is the size and length that they have at all positions. Yeah. They stifle you. You're not getting downhill easy and, you know, jamming it. You're not doing that. You might catch them slipping on the putback uh, tomahawk dunk, but nothing consistent like you're maybe used to. And they have that championship experience and they have a good, like, culture and program to where they never look flustered. Purdue was hanging right with them, but they were just like, okay, well, we're going to continue to do the simple things over and over and over. And they ran like simple, like back cuts. Mm-hmm. They, and they yeah. just kept running. They did every, everything. They, constant movement. Constant for you movement. On offense. Yeah. Well, and, and it felt like, and this is usual when maybe we get to the national championship game, one team over the other, but it's that a six point lead at a time with UConn, say UConn leading by six, felt like it was a 12 point lead yeah and and every i mean we're i was sitting there watching the game with like 16 minutes left in the second half and i think zach Eady turned it over it was an errant pass out of bounds or whatever intended for it was Lance the kick Jones. out it was the kick out yes. and then it yes. went to the backcourt yeah. and it felt like at that point i think it was like an eight point lead it for uconn over. and it was like okay yeah they're still within striking distance they they went on runs before earlier in the game a 6-0 run makes it just right back in it and i'm sitting there going man it just feels monumental. Like it feel, it felt like, and the part of this is because Purdue was struggling so much, but it felt like just something as simple as a, a poor decision on a pass out of bounds or a kick out of bounds or whatever it is. Everything was magnified even more than it already is for being in the national championship because you were down, you were playing poor and UConn just did every little thing. Correct. Yeah, they put so much pressure on you, and, they, and that was when Johnson was guarding Zach Eady. So they came down with a hard double team, and he had the, he he was passing mm-hmm. to the you know the person that was open, but it was a little high, right? And so those are the things that you, you normally might not do through your whole Big Ten, yeah. you know, Big Ten championship, or maybe in the first couple rounds, or you didn't do in the Sweet Sixteen or Grade Eight, or even maybe the Final Four. But when you're under constant pressure, and the pressure is amped up internally because you're not able to hit simple shots. Purdue, if you went out there and just took those shots with the same type of defense, yeah. they probably would have made them today. They just were they couldn't hit anything. Those are the shots that they've been hitting all season. Those are right. those are the things that they've been able to do. And that's what made them the most one of the well, besides UConn, the the second most consistent team, one or two, number one or number two all year long. It was it was the depth of scoring. Yes, you had a couple games where Zach Eady went off, but they still scored other other guys. These guys couldn't do anything. And you know, it's one thing to have, say, like, if you have four guys that you really depend on to score. So, you mm-hmm. know, the known is Zach Eady. So now you yeah. need three. You normally are like, okay, out of those three, we're going to have one more guy. So there's yeah. two. So we'll be able to match up because we get a special night from Zach Eady, which is shooting 60% on 25 shots. You'll take that every day of the week. Yeah. Somebody else, we're right in this game. Well, it was Zach Eady against five, or actually, in this case, six or seven guys. And it just it, it it was too 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 big of a hill to climb. Well, to that point, I mean, speaking of, we need we need one that's the constant, and then one or two other guys. Uh, UConn had that right where they had Newton go off for twenty, who was the leading scorer. Yes, but I mean, even Castle had fifteen. You can point to either one of those as the constant, but then you also have a, a seven footer in Donovan Klingon who has eleven, and then Spencer has eleven. So and, he, and Spencer, there's multiple yeah. guys, and Spencer. Hit two big shots. He hit the he hit the three, and then he hit the one right in the middle of the lane. 
and he's their emotional leader. You know, he would get the 50-50 balls. He's the one that kind of kept the crowd going. And he hit the when, – when Purdue was – I think Purdue had like a three or four – maybe a five-point lead. He came down and hit the three. We're right back in it. And they have guys like that. They hit big shots. Yeah. Every single one of them hit big shots. And they're always in the position and ready to score or ready to shoot. And that's – they have a championship type of mentality. I, I mean – the bigger thing is well, whether they can keep that uh, private jet from Kentucky, uh, you know, not <laughs> hey, going up there. And, he oh, he already he, said that he's he's wants uh, to start yeah, a yeah, dynasty, okay. but yeah, I mean, one, yeah. listen, that di- if they're gonna if Kentucky's trying to come to him with an offer that he cannot refuse, he has to go. He so so this might surprise some people. He's only getting paid, and I say only um, compared to what like Calipari is going to get at Arkansas or was getting at U- UK was that. Uh, Danny Dan Hurley's only getting a little over five million yeah. per year, which is huge. You want you want which is big for UConn. Mm-hmm. You want to talk about having a four million dollar increase, uh, four million dollar raise? Yeah, do, um, it, go go get paid nine it, mil. He did they, mention he didn't. His wife is from Rhode Island, I think. Yeah, or something like from that. From the East Coast. Yeah, and she sure. doesn't she doesn't want to move any further away. Well. We can, yeah, you know, that's honey, yeah, yeah. you can fly back and forth on the private jet that Listen, they're going to give us. That, 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 that sounds that sounds great. It does, yeah. and you're in the moment. But I like to deal in reality, right? Kentucky's probably going to probably if Kentucky really wants them, they're going to yeah. probably say we're going to pay you ten million dollars a year, mm-hmm. and probably give you an eight to ten year contract. And then, it, it, and then it, you're looking at and six mil and five or six mil million nil nil. Yeah. You're looking at another four million in like a recruiting budget. It's it, and it's not it, it. If you're really trying to be, he could possibly springboard this into being if he if they things go well if he does go to Kentucky, or even if he continues up there, it will be harder up there because you're not going to have this mix of yeah a, a big. You, you, Look, Kling, Donovan Klingon is from Connecticut. From there's there's multiple right, guys on their right. roster from Connecticut, and he's a two time staple. You're not yeah. going to continue to get that type of player, yeah. college athlete, every four years. But if you go to Kentucky and you have somewhat of the same success, say he wins three championships there, you're in territory where people are talking about the modern era greatest coach of all time. Mm-hmm. You're you know this isn't about wins a lot. We're talking about championship type of. This guy wins national championship. So, uh, speaking of the Huskies roster, um, it's pretty incredible. Four seniors on there. Diara Hurley, obviously, Andrew Hurley, Tristan Newton, and then Cam Spencer are your four seniors. Ever, then you have one junior and Samson Johnson, the other sophomores and freshmen. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there's, they're, they're, they're stacked for the uh, foreseeable future, barring you know draft and rollies and things like that. Uh, Purdue, just want to say some of these shooting numbers. So as a team, they made 24 field goals, 15 of those from from the right arm of Zach, or from the arms of Zach Eady. Uh, you had uh, Ren go two for four, Braden Smith four for 12, Fletcher Lawyer in 30 minutes of play went 0 for five. Um, didn't really. I, I mean, how about this? You you want to talk about? Yeah, he's got a, he's got a, a, a fresh a frustrating game though, and just like in in Purdue land right now, people are are fired up. Because you went 0 for 5. Okay, you didn't score. Make an impact somewhere else. Two rebounds, zero assists. I mean, neutralized. Hey, he had a great workout. Neutralized. He just ran up and down the court. Cardio. Cardio. But but then also, once again, nobody can say really anything else. Lance Jones, who had 14 in the Final Four victory over NC State, finishes 2 for 3. 0 for 1 from beyond the arc. Three rebounds, zero assists. That, that's it. Zach Eady was was fifteen to twenty five. We know that for thirty seven had just had ten rebounds. Yeah, and zero assists. And, and there was a point late in the second half. He only had six rebounds. I'm like, yeah. dude, you, you know, I ch- yeah. I checked in early when it was twenty three twenty three, and Eady had like fourteen and yeah. six rebounds and three blocks. Yeah, and he and didn't get like, no more rebounds. I was like, yeah. okay, like he's he's gonna have a really good game. And then the rebounds quieted off. Yeah. The points. But kept I think going. also the physicality amped up. Yeah, like you, UConn, UConn. There was a body. Up. There was a body on him constantly. Yeah. It didn't matter if it was Klinger or if it was anybody. There was a body on him constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, so, and 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 that's the thing is, is you mentioned it. So Johnson came in for when when Klingen came out because I think 
correct me if I'm wrong, Klingon had two fouls in the first half, which is why he had to sit. Uh, he was getting worked. Okay, but maybe yeah, he was getting yeah. worked. Okay, so then he sits down. They were okay with all right, Johnson, go out, go out, and and put a body on him. Right, right. I think there's also something to be said about that too. All right, uh, so good stuff there. We, we do want to talk, Coach Cal, because uh, we still have no formal announcement. Did you see him walk on his dog? I, I did. That I was did. Cool. In the walking stroller? his dog yeah. in his stroller. Hey, walking a dog in a stroller, and he was on his cell phone, so you know he was talking to his agent. Yeah, yeah. I right. got no comment on Kentucky because he had so he had the stroller, then he had like a dog walking was, next to him without a leash. What was in the stroller? I think there was another dog. There was another dog in the stroller. So he had a dog in the stroller. He had a dog next to him, not on a Maybe leash. Maybe the dog just can't phone. walk. Maybe he's got like a, some, yeah. some leg issue. I heard I heard Sip talking about if you have an older dog and you just want to get him out and they get some fresh air and they can't really walk that long, you have the stroller. And it's as a dog, it's a dog stroller. So they make wow. them for dogs, for older dogs that can't really walk that well. I see. But I see. you want to get them out in the sunlight and just walk around, maybe get your workout in. I see. Well, yeah, so no. But uh, until he notifies Kentucky that he resigns, they can't officially contact other coaches. They can't. So, so until so Coach, holding them hostage. Until Coach yep. Cal tells them, hey, I'm, I'm officially moving on, they can't contact Dan Hurley. They can't yep. contact. It's, it's against NCAA rules do you think what do you think the chances are that he goes back to kentucky you can't you can't at this point you can think, it'll no, be it, real think awkward. about remember dane altman but also yeah but mitch barnhart pig suey. <laughs> he said and mitch, nah. mitch barnhart was uh it, it publicly backed john calipari after the oakland loss yes when everybody was like yeah no get he's, him out of he's here. out of here yeah, well, he they owed him. They, if they would have fired him, it was thirty-two. It was million. thirty-three. Thirty-three. Yes, but also now Calipari, after getting backed by the AD and administration, openly leaves. Like that's like the Muscleman thing from Arkansas. We we had we had somebody from from Fayetteville on yesterday, and he was talking about like it was announced that Muscleman was interviewing for USC. Even at that point, how do you go back? I just I, I think it's just awkward because it's like then it's then it becomes a case of do you really want to be here? Did you yeah, do you want to leave? Like man, but, but he like- but he's 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 entrenched in in, in Lexington though. Yeah. It, 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 I, I think but he's friends with the Tyson guy. The Tyson yeah, he, guy, yeah, the yeah. chicken nuggets. Yeah, and they play golf all the time. That, Unlimited me, supply yeah, chicken nuggets. You get that Tyson and that Walmart money, that's I tell mystery, you what. That's mystery meat. But, dino, dino yeah. nuggets. Yeah, that's one hundred that's one hundred percent chicken. White meat chicken. <laughs> Farm grown, no added preservatives. Yeah, don't tell me that. You know, I, 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 I would, I would just <laughs> let me. I mean, Rachel, we got to change up dinner. Would, would, would you? Would you? If I was the AD of Kentucky, wouldn't that be weird? Anyways, that you're friends with the dude that's the biggest Arkansas. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's, of course. That is very weird. Yeah. I mean, oh no, I, I, th- I, th- I think it could be. I think Cal goes back. If Cal goes goes back, the AD is gone. Ooh. Ooh. That and that changes. That's a, that's things. a power because right now that is a power. That, that, and let's just think about this: the money that the, you're he's not talking to Arkansas trying to get an extra fight. The, no. the money is there. They just, I mean, that that type of negotiation. It says you call up Rico, your AJ. Well, how much is it going to cost to get Nick? All right, hold on, let me call you back. All right, okay, this is my final offer: a hundred million. Okay. Then you think about the parameters, that's, NIL, that's and all that stuff. What's taking so it's a, long? It's a power move. Well, I feel like here, it's a power move. A he, part of it might be him trying to figure. Not, I mean, he didn't really have to figure it out, but he he has to pay that thirty three million to leave, right? No, if, that's if he got fired. But the, if he got fired, they'd have to pay him the thirty three. But it's a buyout, so then he has. If you he don't leaves, know how much the buyout is, it might not be dollar for dollar. Touche. I, did, I I but, I think then, I think if he I think he's feeling some calls from big time Kentucky boosters and alumni. Mm. And let's be honest, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Hey, don't badmouth Fayetteville. Why not? We like Fayetteville. I, I, I enjoy Fayetteville. What's there? Tell me the top three things to do there right now. Walmart neighborhood market, Bomb Walker Stadium, Bomb Walker Stadium, mm. and I actually don't mind their football stadium either. It's really just the college. It's honestly, just, it's a college. Town. It's the, it's the that's college. all it is. That's it. Would you rather so live it's, there? It's, it's, would you rather live there or they Lexington, have, Kentucky? Hey, I, they, I, I ain't never been to Lexington, Kentucky, so I can't hey, tell you. Arkansas is one of the best indoor tracks in the nation. I tell you what, it's beautiful. So okay, that, that, well, that's, that's the reason correct. that Calipari is going to go is because the yeah. indoor track. But all I'm saying he is, he walks dogs I, on the indoor he's track. He's taking exactly. some phone calls. 
from some big time boosters trying to figure out what's going on. It's a power play. And I'm sure he's saying, listen, man, I'm tired of this dude. I'm tired of arguing with this dude. How dare he even think that he was going to fire me? I'm John Calipari because I lost to Oakland. Didn't you see that kid shoot so many threes? He's been shooting lights out. He, he couldn't, couldn't miss. He couldn't miss. He That's what he's but, saying. But he's done it. But, okay, so then we have this conversation. You staying around for 10 more minutes? Sure. Let's take a break. We'll come back. Happy hour. charge you for this. Download our app by searching 93.7 The Ticket in your app store to stay in touch and listen all day long wherever you are. More of the happy hour is next on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Buckle up and hang on. This is going to be a good one. The fans of Kansas Speedway know how to have a good time. One that celebrates fantastic finishes and family-friendly facilities. Trading paint. We got beauty. And tailgating tradition. Burnouts, beer, and barbecue. Oh, it'll for sure be a good time. And you are all invited. NASCAR weekend at Kansas Speedway, May 4th and 5th. Get your tickets now at kansasspeedway.com. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. If you want to make new floor shopping easier, come to Street Carpet. Hi, I'm Steve Carper. Our flooring professionals can help you choose the best flooring for you, your family, and your budget. We eliminate the confusion. Even better, you'll be enjoying your new flooring much sooner. No six or eight week waits. We'll install right away and save you money on installation. Floor shopping made easy every day at O Street Carpet. O Street Carpet. 1732 O Street. Family owned and operated. Always the best value. Finally, a good reason to have a smart house. Just say, Alexa, play 93.7 The Ticket and we'll magically start playing. How's it work? Nobody knows. Don't ask questions. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member? For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a Swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. Hello? Hello? Believe it or not, old phones are one of the most common pain points in offices today. Many of these phones are beyond repair because parts aren't available to fix outdated devices. Whether it's a traditional phone system or cloud-based VOIP technology, Hamilton Business Phones can help upgrade your connection. We make it easy to sync your office phone with yourself for seamless call handling, no matter where you work. If your current office phone can't do this, you deserve better. Hire your local experts. Hire Hamilton at HamiltonIsBusiness.com. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, we'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds, napping high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds and a low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures, napping high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fletcher for 93.7 The Ticket and the theticketfm.com. Put lawn irrigation on automatic. Think Judson Irrigation for worry-free service to Lincoln homeowners and business community. Judson Irrigation will turn on your sprinkler system in the spring, repair or redesign as needed, and turn it off in the fall. For service to orphan sprinklers, remember Judson Irrigation. They'll never forget you. Call the Judson Irrigation Orphanage, 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. Problem gambling affects millions of Americans daily, of all ages and walks of life. 
If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Do you need motivation to get to the gym on the weekend or even in general? Tune into the Movement Hour each Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. Movement Academy owner Robert Kuhlman will host the show as he introduces new ways to stay in shape. The Movement Hour, every Saturday morning from 10 to 11 a.m. on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. You're listening to the Happy Hour with Nick Sainert. A gorilla bear versus polar bear. A what bear versus a what bear? Then Enrique Alvarez Clary. A gorilla bear versus a polar bear. Polar bear. One more time. <laughs> gorilla. Gorilla versus a polar bear. Sponsored by Empire Fence and Netting on ninety three seven The Ticket and theticketfm.com. dot com. We are back here on the happy hour 93.7, the ticket, the ticket, fm.com. Thanks to empire fence and netting for their support of the program. As always, Nick Sainert, Rico and Jay Foreman with you for us, 402-464-5685 Honda looking hotline. Starter him text line open for you guys. Okay. So uh, we were talking John Calipari and uh, it was actually just reported by a longtime Kentucky broadcaster that Calipari reportedly went back to Kentucky, said, hey, can you guys match the Razorbacks offer? And Kentucky said no. So you want to talk about maybe why it's taking so long for Calipari to say to resign? Well, he's got some choices to make of whether or not he wants to keep his own deal. I also wonder if this is partially Kentucky saying, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't have tied ourselves to a coach with a $33 million buyout. Well, I think every time that you don't win a championship at a place like Kentucky, then they start to really start to count the count, you know, count yeah. your paycheck. And, you know, it, it's no different than when people turned quickly against Mel Tucker. You know, he was the bell of the ball when he turned him into right. 11 and two and or whatever the record was. And Lincoln Riley and Brian Kelly and everybody benefit off it because Brian Kelly was able to leave Notre Dame and Lincoln Riley was able to leave Oklahoma and all of them get nine, 10, 11 million dollars a year mm-hmm. a contract along with. Steve Sarkeesian when they started to win. So everybody benefit off it. Now, now you're, you're being, you know, I always say revisionist history. So it's very short sighted where you knew and know John Calipari wasn't. Yes. Of course he's thinking to try about winning a national championship. Yeah. But that's not how he's brought Kentucky to back the prominence. He has one championship 2012, but his big thing that he does is going to get the best players getting them ready for the next level, all the while winning six SEC championships, still being one of the top, like, 10 teams in the nation. Mm -hmm. And generally, when you have a bunch of one-and-dones and maybe a senior here that nobody really even recognizes, that, you know, you get upset or you make a deep run and their expectations are high. And that's, as an AD, that's what you sign up for. And yeah, you might not want to coach with a with a thirty three million dollar buyout. See, this is the problem. I was just talking to somebody about this yesterday about this Kentucky job, or a job like Kentucky. It's less about X's and O's. It's a personality fit. Mm. The last two guys are Rick Pitino and John Calipari. They're big personalities. They know how to handle the people there. They do more of the wine and cheese that type of stuff and dealing with that type. And then once you have a program to do it, because if you want to try to get um, my man from like was a Cronin from you. He, he, I seen heard his name. Mick Cronin. Mick, Mick Cronin. He, listen. Yeah, TJ Otzelberger. Yeah, Mick yeah, Cronin they, going from Cincinnati to UCLA always seemed like a weird fit. It was kind of working out. It is, but him in Kentucky ain't gonna work. Not at he, all. He, listen, he, he has bitter beer face. <laughs> Otzelberger ain't gonna do it. So you gotta make That's sure. That's why you get Dan some, Hurley seems realistic. It is because he hate he's quirky. He's yeah. gonna he, and he and he has enough sense to how to schmooze a little bit. I think the 
the folk in Lexington, Kentucky will back off a little bit. Mm-hmm. I think he's surrounded with a good team. Mm-hmm. And he obviously knows how to recruit. And it's going to be the, the right mix of, I guess, one and dones or two and dones and yeah. obviously developing that players means. as well. Because that's the part is that uh, – like Bryce or not Bryce Scott Drew from Baylor doesn't feel like he could he's built for it. Jerome Tang that's a huge step up from Kansas State because he he took he denied the Arkansas offer. Um, Otso Berger so once again I, so obviously so that's what's crazy to to even put more feathers in Calipari's cap about only winning one title at Kentucky. So he's been there since two thousand nine. Eight recruiting classes have been uh, of those or excuse me eight times the number one overall recruiting class, seven of the other times, the number two overall recruiting class, and the other one other year was top five overall recruiting class. He has, according to 24-7 Sports, all but one of Kentucky's top 50 all-time basketball recruits. Now, part of that is when the ranking system came out, was released sure. and all that. But you look through some of these names, and, and, and they're – at a time, prominent NBA type of players, which does that sway? The, how much does that sway the needle or the 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 lever for high school recruits when recruiting? Oh, that's the it's number huge. one deal. Yeah, you can be you're going to be a lottery pick, and if you just kind of go get into their system, yeah, and it's going to work itself out. And you've seen guys that maybe even transferred out of there end up getting drafted just because of the depth of, of the yeah. uh, talent there. De- Devin it, Booker's a great ch- example. Right. He was a sixth man yeah. in, at Kentucky. Right. You just you, you got skills, you're going to get paid. And, um, and I mean, if you just look Jamal at some Murray. of the names. Well, that, that's what I was going to say. Some of the names. Nerlens Noel is the, was the number one is the number one all-time basketball recruit in, in Kentucky history. That is Anthony Davis, Julius Randle, John Wall, um, you know, Boogie Cousins, Jamal Murray, so like, Michael Gil, Kid Gilchrist, Carl like Anthony, just Towns. the just the guards right now. So like De'Aaron Fox, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Tyrese Maxey, Emmanuel Quickly, Devin Booker, Tyler Hero, Malik Monk, Jamal Murray, Keldon Johnson, like those, like those guys. Just that. That's from point guard, shooting guard, and one small forward. And those are all practically all stars in the NBA. That's what he's been able to do at Kentucky. Yeah, I mean it's. It, it, I don't know what he's title, waiting on. Just I don't know. one title. Yeah. I mean, but – and, and also I will say this. Coach Cal, under two minutes, is – Coach Cal is the best recruiter, recruiter out there, mm-hmm. hands down. Coach Cal is probably one of the best developers. Now, it's not – how hard is it to really develop Carl Anthony Towns? I'm going to give you credit. You got these guys into the NBA yeah. or the lottery pick. You're doing something right. Mm-hmm. His, his whole staff. Coach Cal, during the regular season – Maybe a little bit in the SEC tournament is still a very, you know, top five or six coach. Coach Cal under two minutes is horrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Clock management, play calling out of a timeout, adjustments is not very good. But again, you give that up because you got to think, majority of his time, he's thinking about recruiting. He doesn't have to mass recruit, he's choosing these guys. And I don't know. I mean, Arkansas might they had a, they had a lot of internal problems at Arkansas. That's, yeah. that's been so he's got to come in there and clean a lot of stuff up, and maybe a chain of scenery. Sometimes they'll appreciate what they had when he's not there because there is going to be very hard. You're not going to continue to attract the same players because those same players are going to be over there in Fayetteville. Does he ask for and get complete control? Oh, he probably has it right now. So just, why would why would you go anywhere else and not have right now where it's at? You're right, Nick. You know, as a thing about it, there's no way he can go back. Yeah, it just feels so awkward. It would feel so awkward. I, I think I think it just feels so awkward. But I point. just wonder why. But it's the taking whole, the whole, too, it's Mitch, too long. It's why too Arkansas? Long, it's out in the ether. Why would you even take that call from Arkansas? Booster, I mean, I mean, you, you the way that the season ended and the talk behind like all of the fan chatter and and things and you know the ad has to publicly come out and endorse like hey he's not going anywhere do you think it finally got to him where he's like you know what i just i he probably, he probably got tired of hearing the mess yeah he's like i just don't want to do this anymore i so mean he's gonna you, go to you arkansas know. where you stay you know in the sec you're staying close ish lower oh, expectations yeah appreciate you don't have it to, more yeah you what don't a, worry about that. I, I was just gonna say what a gift for arkansas yeah yeah. I mean, be, I, so so must must bus. I mean, took him. Eric Musselman took him deep in the tournament. 
I mean, he was fine. Yeah. Then they had a disappointing year this year. But now you're going to bring be able to bring in a guy that has won one title and has a four trips to a Final Four? Must bust had some internal For, locker room issues that, that, that were... That's why that, he went to that, a lower that, job. It's yeah. not even a lateral move. Yeah. USC is a step down, down from Arkansas. That was, it, it, but the things that were going on in his locker... Mm. It, 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 yeah. It, it, Calipari is going to come in and just blow up that whole roster. But he can recruit, and a lot of them are going to follow. Yeah. The one, uh, the 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 recruit just decommitted from there, and then uh, without somebody. a formal announcement. That's what's that's once. So I'm just sure happened. I'm sure there's conversations. I, we're not naive to this point of like there's conversations being had with Calipari and recruits. I'm sure and and things like that. But also there's something to be said about Calipari until for once again formally in, uh, letting Kentucky know Kentucky can't contact Dan Hurley. They can't contact. And even start the preliminary discussions. I'm sure Cal's so going then, around trying to get his staff together. Here, here's this well, question. This is what Ty told us well, yesterday is I'm sure that a, a bunch of high schoolers looked up Fayetteville as soon as that came out. They're like, all right, what's Fayetteville, well, Arkansas? Let me ask you this. If you're a UConn, how do you not lock down Dan Hurley right today? For you don't have term? the money. Jim Calhoun. What would what, 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 what Colorado at, say? What? We'll have the money. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. They yeah, signed Dion yeah. without they, they, money. That, yeah, but, not, but you got to think. <laughs> I know Colorado has the money. They don't. They didn't have it at that time. But they don't. You got to think. Jim Calhoun athletics. was barely making two million dollars a year, and they yeah. were mad. And he had already won two national championships. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I just like this is the time to where if UConn had the money, if if UConn was a a tr a team in the SEC, you are locking down Dan Hurley for the next eight years. Oh yeah, you you are not yeah. even giving. You just give him a lifetime with, contract. Lifetime contract with that's the type okay. of buyout that Cal Park. Hey, I'll say that's what Kentucky do with Cal. Lifetime contract. Yeah, but structured a way to where if a school hires you away, they they got to pay. Maybe the formal announcement isn't because they, they're trying to figure out who's going to be paying this buyout when he leaves. <laughs> the chicken guy, Tyson. There it you is. Got, baby, I want some ownership in chickens. <laughs> Tyson, lifetime supply of Dino Nuggets. Not real chicken, according to Jay Foreman, and, 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 and some stock in Walmart. Stock in Walmart. And, they got the, and the best part is they, they said they brought in Jerry Jones. Yep. Jerry Jones is a booster. There it is. Jimmy Johnson. Everybody. So everything ever happens in Arkansas. Yep. Everything Matter of fact, we be. should go to Arkansas. I'm, I'm excited about to go to Fayetteville. Fayetteville's cool. It's a cool little college town. We should make you a trip down to you, Baumwalker you, you for a baseball game. You don't want to go there in like July because nobody's there. You, just, you know, like fall would probably be pretty fun. We're busy in like the fall, though. I feel like a football mm. game would be fun down in Arkansas. Let's check out the Arkansas the, schedule. What's the mm. Nebraska bye week? Hey, like, who's in Arkansas playing? Is it's, old boy, it's, is it's old, an easy isn't drive. A, isn't old boy back there? Who? Who? The dude that fell out the motorcycle. Oh, uh, Bobby Petrino? Yeah. Is he back there? No. Where is he at? Hold on. He might have. I think he is. He's offensive he? coordinator, right? Yeah. Oh. Sam Pittman hired him. He is currently serves as the offensive coordinator. There yep. he is. <laughs> Bobby B. Bobby B. He back, baby. Petrino. Head coach for no Louisville. motorcycles and fans. Head coach for Louisville. I mean, Bobby, here's the thing. We can we can figure this out real quick. Fayetteville's population. Jay, I know you don't like people. Ninety nine thousand. Less than a hundred thousand people in Fayetteville. There you go. You could be anonymous. That's too small for Cal. Oh, you, you think, think he's, gonna, he's not going to live in Fayetteville? He'll take the private jet. No, it's too. It's, <laughs> Little Rock's yeah, got 202. Them country hicks down there, that's too much. Lucky <laughs> Kentucky. That, yeah. so, so are you saying he doesn't end up at Ar if Arkansas? He probably thinking like, he probably calling his agent. What else is open? He he like took the job without even thinking about it. He's he like, thought he thought he was going to get, he's like, you know what, man? You guys made me mad. I'm going to get, I'm going to find a way to get you some more hey, money. He didn't see the AR. Dang. He just saw Kansas. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. he's like, oh, yeah. I didn't know that they got rid of Bill Self. Yeah, I'll take that job. Dang. They're like, he's, no, no. He's All saying, right. he's saying, why doesn't Kentucky fill their job and I'll go wherever they filled it? Yeah. I'll go to Connecticut. I'll go to UConn. I'll yeah. go to I'll go to Baylor. Dang. Second guessing. Fayetteville, guess. Arkansas. Second guessing. There that's it is, a, Coach Paul All right, let's he's take saying, a break. Wait, wait, wait. We, we, we round out the noon hour coming up next. Follow Nick and Enrique on Twitter at Nick underscore Sainert and at Radio Rico AC. More of Happy Hour is next on 937 The Ticket and the Ticketfm.com. Here you go. Coffee's on me and my new BFF. I thought I was your best friend forever. BFF like best financial friend at Members Own Credit Union. Right now, they're offering $100 when you consolidate or transfer a loan or an existing credit card balance and meet requirements. 
Plus, you get great rates and free advice from a financial partner that will put you first. That sounds like a match made in heaven. Members Own Credit Union is the type of bestie you can count on. Get started today at MembersOwnCU.org slash BFF. Limitations may apply. Equal housing opportunity. 93.7 The Ticket. Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds. Afternoon high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds and a low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures and afternoon high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fleckett for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. At Doan University, we build leaders. And that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours. And our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. Put lawn irrigation on automatic. Think Judson Irrigation for worry-free service to Lincoln homeowners and business community. Judson Irrigation will turn on your sprinkler system in the spring, repair or redesign as needed, and turn it off in the fall. For service to orphan sprinklers, remember Judson Irrigation. They'll never forget you. Call the Judson Irrigation Orphanage, 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. If you want to make new floor shopping easier, come to Street Carpet. Hi, I'm Steve Carper. Our flooring professionals can help you choose the best flooring for you, your family, and your budget. We eliminate the confusion. Even better, you'll be enjoying your new flooring much sooner. No six or eight week waits. We'll install right away and save you money on installation. Floor shopping made easy every day at O Street Carpet. O Street Carpet. 1732 O Street. Family owned and operated. Always the best value. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. NIPCO is hiring CDL drivers for ready-mixed concrete, Husker concrete, and Beatrice concrete. NEBCO offers great pay, medical and retirement benefits, paid time off, and they pay for CDL training. Apply today and start your new career with a $2,500 hiring bonus. From NEBCO's beginning in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit NEBCOinc.com. That's N-E-B-C-O-I-N-C.com. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job. It's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour, with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits, plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates, with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire, 402-560-6197.
Hi, Sean Callahan here for Cobble Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Cobble. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at CobbleCars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night how much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room the high electric service department is here to make your electrical what ifs a reality whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under cabinet lighting high electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services give erica a call at 402 402- 466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. You're listening to the happy hour with Nick Sainert and Enrique Alvarez Clary. Look at me. This plane is going to Jamaica. Sponsored by Empire Fence and Netting on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. <laughs> Thank you to Jay Foreman hanging out for the first 45 minutes or so of the show, talking national championship last night, also talking John Calipari. Still waiting on a formal announcement there. We'll keep it tuned right here because I'm sure whether we're on the air, whether on the block or old school is on the air, we'll have the the breaking news later this afternoon. It sounds like it could come, should come, will come, might come later this afternoon. All right, so... It'll happen today. Yeah, potentially. Uh, okay, so switching to the diamond here, uh, we just got a press release from Nebraska baseball. Brett Sears named NCBWA National Pitcher of the Week. Senior hey. Brett Sears was named the NCBWA Dick Hauser Trophy National Picker Pitcher of the Week. That is a lot to say. <laughs> That's a long title. A very long title. Let me try it again. The NCBWA Dick Hauser Trophy National Pitcher of the Week Award. Uh, the National Collegiate Baseball Writers Association announced on Tuesday afternoon. Why are you making us say so much? Uh, Sears improved to 6-0 this season with a two-hit complete game shutout versus Ohio State. The complete game shutout was the first by a Husker since Will Walsh in the Big Ten tournament last season. Sears held the Buckeyes to just two hits, the fewest in a complete game by a Nebraska pitcher since Matt Waldron Whoa. against Michigan State in 2019. Matt Waldron, current uh, San Diego Padre. Yes. I watched Matt current Waldron pitch. Knuckleballer. Yeah. Matt Waldron. Watched him pitch. Uh, he didn't have the greatest showing. Uh, he threw a couple knuckleballs. The catcher <laughs> could not. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't no. figure him out. It, marks, it also marks Sears' seventh consecutive quality start which is the longest streak by a Husker hurler since Aaron Madsen, excuse me, Aaron Mardson okay. recorded seven straight in 2002. How many straight is it right now for Sears? Seven. Okay. So he's tied to the record. For some reason, I thought you said two, and I was like, that seems off. Uh, which is the longest streak by since 2002. The Husker right-hander uh, punched out a career-high 10 batters without issuing a walk. His fourth outing this season with seven-plus strikeouts while also allowing zero walks. Sears retired for 14 of the first 16 batters he faced on Friday night. The Buckeyes nearly had consecutive hits in the fifth frame until Cole Evans' diving full extension catch prevented Ohio State from recording its third hit of the day. He retired the next 14 Buckeyes after the one-out single in the fifth to preserve the complete game shutout. So once again, Brett Sears, currently 6-0 and on the season, has been awarded the NCBWA Dick Hauser Trophy National Pitcher of the Week Award from the National Collegiate Baseball Writers Association. So there you have it, Brett Sears and Nebraska Baseball. Uh, they are getting ready for a matchup tonight against the Kansas Jayhawks. We'll tell you more about it when we turn things over to the 1 o'clock hour here. Don't go anywhere. We'll have that and much more. We're also going to talk and get Rico's thoughts on the Masters concession stand. Are because we? I thought about maybe purchasing and i may do it live on air Ooh. a taste of the masters do they deli- they send it to they you? send it to you where you can get How? masters concession stand items like frozen so i kind of want to talk about that maybe in the second segment 
Also, people know my PPB yep. thoughts. Very important. Masters is right up my alley. Is it? Right up my alley. We'll tell you all about that coming up next on the Happy Hour 93.7 The Ticket. Download our app by searching 93.7 The Ticket in your app store to stay in touch and listen all day long wherever you are. More of the Happy Hour is next on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth. 93.7 The Ticket. If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner, or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hogwild do the cooking. Hogwild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hogwild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. Hi, I'm Senator Bo Ballard. I was born and raised in Lancaster County, learning the value of hard work and grit at a young age. I built my own company, creating jobs right here in our community. I know that families and businesses in our community need lower taxes, lower cost of health care, and a great education. That's why as your senator, I helped pass the largest tax cut and made the most significant investment in education in Nebraska history and worked to reduce the cost of health care. I'm Senator Bo Ballard, and I humbly ask for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Ballard for Nebraska. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing a replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. You want to make new floor shopping easier? Come to Oak Street Carpet. Hi, I'm Steve Carper. Our flooring professionals can help you choose the best flooring for you, your family, and your budget. We eliminate the confusion. Even better, you'll be enjoying your new flooring much sooner. No six or eight week waits. We'll install right away and save you money on installation. Floor shopping made easy every day at O Street Carpet. O Street Carpet. 1732 O Street. Family owned and operated. Always the best value. Attention all Wings fans. 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 Tall Boys in Bud Light, Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 Cent Wings. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Hello. Hello. Believe it or not, old phones are one of the most common pain points in offices today. Many of these phones are beyond repair because parts aren't available to fix outdated devices. Whether it's a traditional phone system or cloud-based VOIP technology, Hamilton Business Phones can help upgrade your connection. We make it easy to sync your office phone with yourself for seamless call handling, no matter where you work. If your current office phone can't do this, you deserve better. Hire your local experts. Hire Hamilton at hamiltonisbusiness.com. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member? For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a swole member. Member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The Electrical Workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402 875 
1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds. Afternoon high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds and a low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures. An afternoon high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fleckett for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Grab a free burger and beer at LA Power Sports of Lincoln on April 27th during their Husker Spring Game Tailgate. Meet the L.A. Power Sports team, play some tailgate games with them, and enter for a chance to win an official John Elway autographed football. Check out their huge selection of boats and watercraft for the summer, along with hundreds of motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides from all the major brands. Stop out and watch the game with them on April 27th. L.A. Power Sports of Lincoln, 27th and I-80. They'll be tailgating all day. This is the happy hour. You guys are on the happy hour? Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America. Yeah, I'll maybe I'll come for a couple. Here are your hosts, Nick Sainert. I am a huge guy. And Enrique Alvarez Clary. C is for chunk. <laughs> Brought to you by Empire Fence and Netting on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. <laughs> Welcome back into the happy hour. It is hour number two of the show today. Adam Care, or excuse me, Steve Taylor, back tomorrow on Wednesday. And then Carriker will be available and back on Thursday and Friday. So final day for the foreseeable future of Rico and myself going for two hours. Uh, we'll be coming at you at our normal, usual time of 1 p.m. Central Standard. Um, okay, so to start the show, start the, the one o'clock hour here. I want to talk about the uh, master's menu. Perfect. Because, That's exactly what I want to talk about. <laughs> golf. Well, here's the thing. This is away from the course. We can talk about golf, by the way. I'm not uh, going to be much help in that conversation. And that's okay. Tiger Woods says that he believes he can win one more. And one more. One more Masters. One more green jacket. Sir, you're, you Wait, are more machine than man. Rico, would you like to participate in a Masters pool? I've told you my stance on this, and I'll let you guys know right up to, front. No, no, no. You have to no. Venmo before. No, I'll let you know right up front. I'm going to fill it out. I don't want the money if I win. I just want to see if I if I can get lucky and, and okay, win. Okay, well, okay. I'll let you do that. I don't, I don't want I the money put, if I, I win. I won't put it in the, in the little thing. Yeah, don't. I just, just take my paper, and I just want to see. I want you to score mine, but don't, it doesn't. Don't put okay. me in a place. That's easy. I just want right. to see if I can get lucky and pick the right people. So I, I mentioned before the break that I thought about doing like the Taste of the Masters where they'll send you the, the stuff. So, for example, um, you can be like uh, you can order basically party packs of the stuff that they sell at the Masters. Okay, and it's it, so you go to the Masters dot com, the website, and it's large hosting kit, and it's feast on tradition as you celebrate the twenty twenty four Masters with our signature pimento cheese, egg salad, pork barbecue, and classic concessions. So, in this large kit, you get. Egg salad, pimento cheese, pork barbecue, plain potato chips, barbecue potato chips, delicious cookies, Georgia pecan caramel popcorn. That sounds amazing. 25 Masters branded souvenir cups. 25. Oh, it's a party pack. Uh, Masters coasters. Okay. And hosting kit materials. However, bread and buns are not included. Boo. Now, the classics kit basically is just for families. Uh, new for 2024, the Classics Kit is perfect for smaller groups who want to recreate the Patreon experience with our signature pimento cheese and classic concessions. Because remember, they are not fans. They are not customers. They are patrons mm. at the Masters. They are always referred to as patrons at Augusta. Pimento cheese, plain potato chips, six moon pies. You, you a big moon pie guy? I love moon pies so much interesting like on, honestly i haven't and this found isn't a moon me, pie that i like this is not me like asking anybody to bring me moon pies but i'm kind of asking people to bring if you bring moon pies to the station i don't i don't know i don't know what i'll do but i'll be very happy and i will thank you profusely i the p- moon pies are delicious never found a moon pie i enjoy um really yeah and unfortunately chocolate moon, chocolate moon pies are well oh, chef's kiss uh, Masters branded souvenir cups, Masters branded wax paper, 
Masters branded coasters and hosting kit materials, but bread and buns are not included. So then you ask, okay, well, what, what all do they offer at the course? And I'll tell you, and I'll have prices included in this. Oh, for your PPB. For my price per bite. It's necessary. So we'll start out with, with breakfast. Masters blend fresh brewed coffee, $2. A chicken biscuit, $2. A breakfast sandwich. How big is it? Can, do you know how big the chicken biscuit is? So this guy actually tried every single thing. Oh, okay. There's the breakfast sandwich. Good. good size. That looks like a regular size it sounds breakfast like it's, sandwich. It's like and a it's regular two size. Bucks. Yes. Man, look. Two bucks. Blueberry muffin, $1.50. Fresh mixed fruit, $2. So that's breakfast. Sandwiches. I feel like, and this, like, I don't want to sound like a rude person. I feel like they can get away with having all these things cheap because I, I, how expensive is it to go? I there would assume so. To be a patron. Right? So, because they don't want to charge you like, how I, I don't know. A I'm gonna make concession. up. I'm gonna make up a normal. I'm gonna make up a ticket. They they don't want to charge you 250 bucks to go watch the Masters yeah. and then have you pay eight bucks for a chicken sandwich. Like they know. Yeah. Well, so sandwiches wise, egg salad a dollar fifty. Egg salad sandwich for a dollar fifty. Too bad egg salad's gross. Pimento cheese sandwich, which is a Masters classic, a dollar fifty. I don't think I've ever had pimento. Cheese. We had it at Double Eagle last year. It was, was delicious. I was, not, I was running the board. Okay. Well, pimento cheese, $1.50 for the sandwich. A pork barbecue sandwich. Sounds amazing. $3. Three bucks for pork barbecue? A club sandwich, $3. Okay. These other three sandwiches are all $3 as well. Okay. A chicken salad on honey wheat bread, a ham and cheese sandwich on rye, and a classic chicken sandwich on white bread, $3. For all of those. I don't know why, but honey wheat just sounds delicious right now. Um, Beverages. Ah, the Bevs. Soft drinks are $2. Oh. A bottle of water is $2. Iced tea is $2. Beer. What do you think beer is? It's going to be more expensive than a soft drink, but I'll be like three bucks. It is $5 okay, for a beer. Wine is six. That makes sense. Snacks. That makes sense. That's, wow. that's what I'm saying. You, wow. go, you go to an NFL game and it's 18 it 16 was, bucks a beer? It was... What was it at, at Padres? $14.99, $15.99? At the Padres? I believe so. Yeah. Um, snacks. Chips are $1.50. Peanuts are $1.50. Southern cheese straws, whatever those are, are $2. I don't know what they are, but I'm interested. A cookie is $1.50. The caramel popcorn is $1.50, and the ice cream sandwich is two fifty. dollars Man, I, that would be... That would be a problem because you would go back. I would keep eating and I wouldn't even this be is watching, my thing. I wouldn't even be watching golf. Like I'd be just be like at the concession stand and I would be talking to the concession people. I'd be like, how you guys doing? How's your day going? They'd be like, aren't you going to watch golf? I'd be like, no, nah, I'm, I'm eating all of your food. Well, so that's my point is so where you could go in there with 20 bucks and have like a really good meal. Yeah, I'm trying to figure like, it out if you take like a, if you have like a loose 20 in your pocket. I don't know why you'd have a loose 20, but if you have a loose 20 in your pocket and you go to PBA for a basketball game, you're getting like French fries and water. Like that's it. But you could get so everything. If you have $68, you can buy one of everything on the menu. $68. $68 gets you one of everything on this master's concession menu. That is what I'm talking about. That's why. And you know what? Just your your reaction right there. I'm going to go on a little rant here. I would do that. Just to offer your reaction yeah. of this would be a problem because I would go back. Yeah. You are more inclined to go back and spend more money. And at the end of the day is if I'm to go by and if I'm, a, if I'm at Augusta for eight hours in the day watching golf. You're going to eat a decent amount. I'm going to eat a decent amount. I'm going to drink a decent amount. Mm -hmm. And when it's priced less, I'm going to say, oh, this isn't bad pricing at all. The problem is you're going to probably spend the same amount that you would spend on like one meal at like a football, a baseball game, yeah, whatever. all day. But it it feels better because you're getting – actually, it is better because you're getting more. You're getting more. It does not it feels better. I'm much, better. Okay, I want, I want to know. 402-464-5685 and from you, Rico, as well. Okay. Are you a quality or a quantity type of play? Mm. Either. Are you a because here's Ooh. the thing I play this I play this game with myself when I'm at a restaurant of uh -huh. like sides do I want I get fr more fr I more would, fries I, like in this case it's like yeah salad is good 
but but I get more fries. Also, fries taste better. Fries might taste a little bit better. Hmm. I, it, like it if, if if you go to a local fast food establishment, uh huh, you might choose the fast food establishment based on what the best bang for your buck can get. Yeah, because you can get because you're a there. quantity guy over a quality guy. Hmm. I'm a. I think I, as bad as this sounds, I'm a I'm a quantity guy. I want to say that I'm quality. I am 100%. I am a quantity guy. But then every time I have That's quality, tough. every time I have quality, I go, you know what? I should really become a quality guy because I don't need as much. Exactly. It's a tough question. It's an internal like battle. Go, uh, it's an internal battle, folks. That's a tough one because, like, if you one go to, we a, struggle re- with every you go to a restaurant and you could get, like, steak or you could get chicken wings. It's like, yeah, quantity. Do I get, you know, 10 chicken wings or do I get this delicious steak? Yeah, there you go. And honestly, honestly, I think I might be quantity. I think I would go with the chicken I, wings. I, and it's not a bad thing. I mean, but it then is again, a bad thing. But then again, they, like, they're good. Like, it's not like you're. This is a hard I'm, question. I think, I'm, I think I'm quantity. I'm quantity I as I'm well. Quantity. I have no problem admitting it because I've, I, I've, yeah. Uh, how about this? 0996 on the text line says you move more towards quality as you get older. I think that makes sense. I feel like you move more towards quality as you get older and make more. Make more. You also um, can't eat as much. Probably like stomachs, not. Stomach size and stuff. So that's probably a big, little bit of it. Oh, Jesse. Used to so. be quantity, but trying to eat healthier and lose a few pounds, I have become more of a quality guy. Quality. Well, yeah, if you're trying to lose weight. I try to lose weight, but I can't give up quantity. Yeah, it's, it's tough, tough, man. It's tough. It's tough. Uh, David Fullerton makes an interesting point. Says can't buy anything with cash now at Pinnacle Bank Arena. You got to bring your card. There is that. Interesting. Dave Dipple says I'm quality for sure. So I See, don't know if you have your I, card and you're, every, and you're going back and forth, back and forth, like at, at Augusta, you're just like, yeah, it doesn't even matter. You, you can't see the money you're spending. Yeah. But you know that you're you're getting some bank for your buck. Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, I, I like the master the master selection, like the chicken sandwiches were three bucks. Like I could get. Yeah, I could get three chicken sandwiches for, for nine price for nine dollars for the price of chicken tenders at PBA. Exactly. And not even chicken tenders with French fries, just nope. chicken tenders. Yeah. Thing and it's like four chicken tenders. Exactly, they so are. Then you, so then you break it down. They are so this, tasty. Though. So this Here's is your this is this is the break the breakdown. You break down the nine divided by four. You're paying two dollars and twenty five cents per chicken finger, and they might get a short stubby one, but then also you look at something like this and go, well, Augustus charging three bucks for a classic chicken sandwich, a three dollars three dollars. For a barbecue pulled pork sandwich, three dollars for a club sandwich. It's unfortunate. There's a cool Twitter thread, and the reason I brought this up, the PPB just does not match up. There's a cool Twitter thread that uh, has gotten three point four million views cool. um, from Rick Golfs, and it says I tried every single food item at the Masters. The Masters food mem- menu is known as the most affordable in all sporting events, but is it good? Last year, I sacrificed and gorged myself in order to get you the inside info. And in this Twitter thread, he reviews every single menu item. Um, and, and the lowest score, how about this? The lowest score was a 7.7 out of 10. Mm. And it was the Masters Blend Coffee. The Masters mm. Blend Coffee scored the lowest on this rating. But it's a 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10. I still I'm okay high. with that. That's still it's probably high. still better than Folgers. Whoa. Not so coming at Folgers. We're just taking shots at Je- Folgers. Jesse makes an interesting, a good point, though. Also have to compare the price of a ticket for a PBA event to the, the that's, Masters. That's what I was saying. Yep. It's it's a lot more expensive to go to the Masters than it is to go watch watch some basketball at PBA. Yep. Which is unfortunate. But I, I do wonder what like the, the waiting list is still for the Masters. By the way, those uh, tailgate kits that yeah. are for the taste of the Masters sold out. Sold out. Can't well, get it. It looks like you're not going to get one. I'm not going to get one. All right. Let's take a quick on the trigger with that one. I guess so. Let's take a break. Uh, we talk Husker baseball coming up next because uh, they, they face off against the Kansas Jayhawks tonight. We'll also break down a couple of other things before we bring in Austin and Strick for the crossover. We haven't talked Husker softball in a while. We okay. need to talk Husker softball as uh, they're having a pretty good st- uh, string of games. They unf- unfortunately fell in the series to Penn State over the weekend, but have put together a much better season than maybe what the the start of it looked like it looked a little grim after the injury to Jordy ball. Um, but they, they've started to write the ship 
if you will. So let's take a break. When we come back, we talk about the diamond coming up next. Follow Nick and Enrique on Twitter at Nick underscore Sainert and at Radio Rico AC. More of Happy Hour is next on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. At Doan University, we build leaders. And that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours. And our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job, it's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour, with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits, plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havre. This week's special through April 9th is buy one, get one free on 8-ounce flat iron steaks, limit four per visit. Also, $1.50 off all Bachan's Japanese barbecue sauces. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations at 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds. Afternoon high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds and a low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures. And afternoon high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Becker for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Here you go. Coffee's on me and my new BFF. I thought I was your best friend forever. BFF like best financial friend at Members Own Credit Union. Right now, they're offering $100 when you consolidate or transfer a loan or an existing credit card balance and meet requirements. Plus, you get great rates and free advice from a financial partner that will put you first. That sounds like a match made in heaven. Members Own Credit Union is the type of bestie you can count on. Get started today at MembersOwnCU.org slash BFF. Limitations may apply. Equal housing opportunity. Alcohol has strained our relationship. Drinking too much can cause harm to friends, family members, and loved ones. By drinking less, we will save our relationship. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. Empower a child today with the Teammates Mentoring Program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting lincolnteammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the Teammates Mentoring Program today. Wall-to-wall wine and spirits is now open in Lincoln. Shop our expansive collection of wine, beer, spirits, and cigars at 5040 North 27th Street. From top shelf liquor to crowd favorite beer, Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits has a beverage for every taste and every budget. Plus, join our loyalty program to earn rewards and save on future purchases. Shop Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits at 5040 North 27th Street in Lincoln. That's 5040 North 27th Street. 
This is Coach Bill Bush. You all know my passion for Nebraska. Having coached all over the country, I can honestly say there is no place like Nebraska. You know where there's also no place like? Midwest Bank. Midwest Bank has proudly served Nebraska for over 70 years, and they're located in nine different communities. Midwest Bank is ready, willing, and able to meet all your personal, business, and agriculture needs. Your community, your bank, and mine, Midwest Bank. Find out more at Midwest Bank. Member FDIC. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Attention all Wings fans, 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 Tall Boys in Bud Light, Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 Cent Wings. Buckle up and hang on. This is going to be a good one. The fans of Kansas Speedway know how to have a good time. One that celebrates fantastic finishes and family-friendly facilities. Trading paint. we got beauty. And tailgating tradition. Burnouts, beer, and barbecue. Oh, it'll for sure be a good time. And you are all invited. NASCAR weekend at Kansas Speedway, May 4th and 5th. Get your tickets now at kansasspeedway.com. Hello? Hello? Believe it or not, old phones are one of the most common pain points in offices today. Many of these phones are beyond repair because parts aren't available to fix outdated devices. Whether it's a traditional phone system or cloud-based VOIP technology, Hamilton Business Phones can help upgrade your connection. We make it easy to sync your office phone with yourself for seamless call handling, no matter where you work. If your current office phone can't do this, you deserve better. Hire your local experts. Hire Hamilton at HamiltonIsBusiness.com. You're listening to The Happy Hour with Nick Sainert and Enrique alvarez Clary. This isn't the real Caesars Palace, is it? What do you mean? Did, um, did Caesar live here? Um, no. I didn't think so. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Alrighty, so it's officially happened. Coach Calipari has officially sent out a video from his personal Twitter account saying that he is leaving Kentucky. I did not mention Arkansas. Has not uh, been finalized, but Coach Calipari will not be the coach at Kentucky going forward. It is official, and if you want to watch the whole 3 minute and 53 second video, of him thanking, saying goodbye, appreciating the University of Kentucky and Big Blue Nation, then you can go over to, I, I think it's Twitter hands like UK Coach Calipari or something like that, which you'll have to change. You'll have to change UK Coach Calipari. It'll be UA Coach Calipari. Yeah. University of Arkansas. There it is. I just um, have to think, is, I'm like, is it University of whatever or, or whatever university? Okay, I do get annoyed. It's funny that you bring that up because... With Nebraska? Uh, Same. With Nebraska, because it is not Nebraska University. You're not NU. I, for so long, got fired up at recruits, not at recruits, with recruits when I would see their them posting either their commitment or the fact that they are uh, they got an offer. I got an offer by NU. Got from an offer from from Nebraska University. Yep. And, and the one that the one that one of them that sticks out to me, Maurice Washington. Mm. When Maurice Washington committed to Nebraska, he on his post it said Nebraska University, and on ESPN two where he committed, he said he said Nebraska University. Yeah, I believe so. And uh, man, it just bothered Can me. Can I just? You're not, you're not Nebraska University. You're not NU. You're you are UNO. You are UN. Yeah. You are the well, university, you, not the United Nations. You are not the UN, but you are you are you are UNL. the University of Nebraska Lincoln. Something All right. Little, you can't. They're like, oh, we're NU, and when we face Northwestern, it's a battle for the real NU. Like, no, it's not. They are NU. You are UNL. 
Deal with it. <laughs> Justin on the Twitter, on the uh, text line says, maybe Coach Cal didn't mention Arkansas because he's still looking for a university that starts with a K for his next gig, so he doesn't have to change his Twitter handle. Can't go to KU because that's <laughs> KU. University yeah. of... What, Kentucky and Kansas are the only Ks, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think like Kent State. That's KSU. Yes, that is KSU. It's not University of Kent State. Is ah, it? No. Just, Justin, okay. your, your, yeah. your theory is incorrect. Sorry, man. I mean, may, I mean, hold on. Unless he's trying to get Bill Self goes to Kentucky. Cal goes to Kansas. He go to. Oh, no, that's WKU, Western Kentucky. <laughs> I'm going to stay in the state. Yeah, and I'm gonna he's drop gonna down to the Sun Belt League. He's gonna have to stay in the state, or he could go to. Nope, that's KSU, Kansas State. <laughs> it's got to be Kansas. It, ha- but it's, it's not KU. gonna happen. He'd have to switch it around. Nope, not gonna happen. Speaking of Kansas, Nebraska baseball travels to face off against the Jayhawks tonight, 6 p.m. first pitch on ESPN Plus. Um, still waiting on the official starter for the uh, the Huskers. Or excuse it's me, Ty. it is Ty Horn. Yeah. Ty Horn, 1-0 on the season, 4.85 earned run average. You can follow the game on ESPN+. Do you know the last time these teams played, they played at Kauffman? Is that right? Yeah. How about that, Rico? Look that up. Last time they played, they played at Kauffman. It was a one, one ne- game. Nebraska and Kansas meet for the first time since the Huskers came away with a 3-1 to win in a matchup played at Kauffman Stadium there in what? what year? Oh, uh, 16, 17. 2016. Ah, there we go. I, I want now. See, now here we go. We're, we're going to go down the Nebraska baseball rabbit hole. Okay. They, of, the last time they played in Lawrence, Nebraska lost the series. So Nebraska in 2016 was 37 and 22. They were a 37 win ball club. Um, as we work on getting figure it out loaded. Okay. Here we go. Found it. All right, so 37 and 22. They opened that season with the College of Charleston. They actually, how about this? They started the season one and five. Oof. Uh, before, oh my gosh, they were not good at that's, the start. That's rough. So they started out the season. They must have caught fire. Two, four, six. They started out the season two and six. Then they went on a run. Um, to where they were able to win like six or seven straight here. Whew. Okay, so to that point of Kansas here, here it is. NCB Hall of Fame Classic at the K. Um, Nebraska box score. Here we go. Um, who is, who is some of these pitcher? names? Max Knudsen. There we go. He goes five and a third, four hits allowed, one earned run. Uh, Reese Eddins and Robbie Polkert, as well as Chad Linsman, came in for the save. For hitting, Ryan Bolt oh. was the leadoff hitter. Ryan Bolt doesn't get talked about enough in, in Nebraska baseball former players. Ryan Bolt, Jake Plotzek, he was a third baseman. Okay. Houston Astro, Jake Myers. Ah. Ben Miller, Scott Schreiber, Jesse Wilkening. How about this name? Luis Alvarado. Oh. I used to play Fortnite with Luis Alvarado. Really? Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm not kidding about that. I was, I had never, I've never met Luis in person, but I played Fortnite with him almost every single night. Uh, Jake Schleppenbach, okay, and Steven Ravellis. Some names I do not remember. Yeah, I don't or know. I forgot about some of those names. I, I remember them all. Having to think back on, I remember them all. Just don't remember. It's been a while yeah. since you've said those names. I'm, out I'm loud. curious. Hold on, is Luis Alvarado still in? He, I don't. We don't play Fortnite anymore. So oh, I'm, tra- I'm curious. Tragic. Is Luis Alvarado still? You should in see if he's you minor leagues. Try to hit him up. See if he wants to play Fortnite not. again. I should not. You say Luis Alvarado, and all I can think of is Jose Alvarado. Yeah, Luis Alvarado. Left. He so he was an outfielder and a pitcher. Oh. Um, he was drafted by the Red Sox in the 33, 33rd round, coming out of high school. Mm. Comes to Lincoln, gets drafted by the Seattle Mariners in the thirteenth round of the twenty seventeen MLB Amateur Draft. However, decides to come back to school oh. and gets drafted in the 17th round by the Los Angeles Angels in the 2018 amateur draft. Um, he is out of the league. That's a that's a bummer. Last year was 2021. You know, if you Google Luis Alvarado and don't put Nebraska, you get uh, 
Luis Alvarado, the shortstop, second baseman, and third baseman from Puerto Rico, who was born January 15th, 1949. I have seen that. Alvarado. Um, anyway, so Nebraska now. Uh, Nebraska, back to tonight. They face off Kansas for the first time since 2016, as we talked about. Um, Tuesday's tilt is the first trip to Lawrence for the Big Red since the Huskers last season in the Big 12 in 2011. Jayhawks took two of three from the Huskers. That one, we talked about it yesterday. Nebraska appeared in the D1 Baseball Top 25 for the second consecutive week, coming in at 23rd after ranking 24th last week, going two, two and two against Creighton in a loss last Tuesday night, and then taking two of three against Ohio State over the weekend. They earned recognition. This is the big one also. They earned recognition in every single poll that is that is viewed and, and actually taken into account by the NCAA, whether that's D1 Baseball, Baseball America, the USA Today, the NCBAA, and Perfect Game, all ranked the Huskers. Look at that. All ranked the Huskers. Um, Ty Horn tonight, freshman, gets the nod, uh, set to make the his third start of the season tonight at Kansas. He is 1-0 on the season, as we talked about, compiled a 4.85 earned run average and nine strikeouts in 13 innings of work. Opposing hitters have posted a 259 batting average against the freshmen. Mm -hmm. um, how about this one? No, the Huskers come into the week as one of three teams nationally to limit opponents to nine or fewer stolen bases this season. The Huskers have limited opponents to just 15 stolen base attempts on the season, joining Coastal Carolina as the only two teams in the country to hold opponents to 15 stolen base attempts or fewer on the season. We talk about Nebraska on the offensive side, on the base pass, being able to manufacture runs. A big part of that is their own base running. Riley Silva is a big part of it. He's posted a 441 on base percentage for the Huskers. But how about this? And is the only Husker to score 25 plus runs. He's scored 29 so far through the team's first 29 games. The, the Cambridge Ontario native has started 28 of 29 games this season, posted a perfect 71 for 71, 1000 fielding percentage in center field as well. Silva is one of eight Division I players to steal 19 or more stolen bases and be caught just two or fewer times, including one of three Power 5 players this season. So there you go. Nebraska has a nice squad right now. Very if good. You're, you're looking at what you mentioned earlier with Brett Sears winning Pitcher of the Week, according to the all of the all of the acronyms that I don't remember right now. NCBAA. Yeah, that. that Brett Sears winning that. You've got all these statistics, you know, being one of two teams like Coastal Carolina to limit teams and on the base paths, having Riley Silva being one of, of three uh, high major baseball players to have what was it? 19 plus stolen bases and be caught two or less times like this. This team has a lot of weapons in different facets of the game, and they're hopefully only going to get better as the season goes on. So um, one thing that did go under the radar last week that I do want to talk about is Nebraska added a uh, catcher from the Juco ranks last week that I believe it was uh, the it was Monday. So mm -hmm. last Monday on April 1st, Nebraska added a Juco cut catcher in Colin Simbalista. Not an April Fool's joke. Not an April Fool's joke. He's a guy that's going to be on campus next season. Um, he comes from the well-known Hutchinson Community College Hutch. in Hutchinson, Kansas. Um, but you might ask yourself, okay, why a Juco catcher? Well, let's talk about Josh Karen a little bit. This has kind of gone under the radar, and I want to talk about this. Potentially Josh Karen, a junior currently hitting 315 with seven doubles, a triple, six home runs, a team high 35 RBIs and he's also scored 20 runs. The junior leads the Big Red with six home runs and a 10 multi-hit performances this season. That's an MLB draft guy. That is yeah. a guy that next season kind of be on the lookout if he continues on this trajectory of this season. Nebraska is going to need to find a kind of fill that void. They have went through the high school ranks over the last couple of years, gotten some, some catchers, some multi-positional guys where they can catch, but they can also play infield. Not necessarily the route that maybe is the most successful for the short term, short term 
Colin Simbalista, once again, from Hutchinson Community College down in Hutchinson, Kansas, committed to the Huskers last Monday on April 1st, and uh, he will be on campus next season. So something just kind of think about is that uh, Colin Simbalista commits to Nebraska as a catcher, um, experienced guy out of the JUCO ranks, potentially to fill that void if Josh Karen does get drafted high enough to where he wants to when go Josh pro. Karen gets drafted high enough. Probably. Those numbers are pretty good. good. 35 good. RBIs through 29 games. This team, and uh, you know, it's it's hard to keep track of, of all of the baseball players and all of the baseball talk in, in you know the national scope of things, but I feel like this team has a couple of guys who, as the season gets closer to a close, as it gets closer to um, playoff time, you're going to hear a decent amount of, of Nebraska players being yeah, mentioned. Absolutely. I, I would agree. I, and, and probably Brett Sears is one of them. Uh, Brett Sears on the year six and oh, which is named the NCBAA national college pitcher of the week by the N- college baseball writers association of America of America. Dang. I was close. That's, that's, you were, you were close. two words off. Let's uh, let's take our final time out. When we come back, we're joined by Eric Strickland and Austin Norman for the crossover as we get you ready for On the Block with Strickland Austin coming up next. Download our app by searching 93.7 a ticket in your app store to stay in touch and listen all day long wherever you are. More of the happy hour is next on 93.7 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. Buckle up and hang on. This is going to be a good one. The fans of Kansas Speedway know how to have a good time. One that celebrates fantastic finishes oh, and family-friendly facilities. Trading paint. we got beauty. And tailgating tradition. Burnouts, beer, and barbecue. Oh, it'll for sure be a good time. And you are all invited. NASCAR weekend at Kansas Speedway, May 4th and 5th. Get your tickets now at kansasspeedway.com. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. Hello? Hello? Believe it or not, old phones are one of the most common pain points in offices today. Many of these phones are beyond repair because parts aren't available to fix outdated devices. Whether it's a traditional phone system or cloud-based VOIP technology, Hamilton Business Phones can help upgrade your connection. We make it easy to sync your office phone with yourself for seamless call handling, no matter where you work. If your current office phone can't do this, you deserve better. Hire your local experts. Hire Hamilton at hamiltonisbusiness.com. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member? For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havre. This week's special through April 9th is buy one, get one free on 8-ounce flat iron steaks, limit four per visit. Also, $1.50 off all Bachan's Japanese barbecue sauces. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations at 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. 
Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. Problem gambling can destroy an individual's finances, relationships, physical, and mental health. If you are a loved one or struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. Grandma and Grandpa, Mom and Dad, then the kids, and now the grandkids. Judson Irrigation has provided lawn sprinkler system design, installation, repair, and service to four generations. They're just like members of the family. Loyalty, trust, service. It's what you deserve and expect from Judson Irrigation. Keep summer green. Call Judson Irrigation, 402-420-6277 or JudsonIrrigation.com. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, we'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds, napping high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds, in the low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures, napping high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fletcher for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your your empire. You're listening to the happy hour with Nick Sainert. I don't believe you people. Huh. And Enrique Alvarez Clary. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Huh? Sponsored by Empire Fence and Netting on 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. Welcome back into the happy hour, 93.7 The Ticket, theticketfm.com. Nick Sainert, Rico, Eric Strickland, and Austin Orman. They are here. Arriving. They are here. They are true. here. They are it's here. true. There Hello. Is, there's Hello. Austin before Hi. he even puts the headphones on. Yep. There's Austin. And Stricky. What'd he do? There he is. There he is. The we in the building. Um, how's it going, guys? Wonderful. You you know you know you know when Stricky lights up like a Christmas tree Dang. when his son oh, the pops sun's out. Incredible. Boy, is it nice outside? It feels awesome. Oh, it was amazing before. Dang. Yeah, you did the right thing wearing shorts today. It, really? It, it's it feels that good. Yep. I yeah. like shorts. I like shorts. Short I like short season. Big short guy. Short season. <laughs> the the short sleeve quarter zip. You do? I can't I like wait. To, I can't wait to break out the short sleeve hoodie. However, oh, I, I can't have wait the, to hit the have golf a, a course City with Royals, Tricky Dicky. Uh, connect. Hey, you, you know where to yeah. find me. Short sleeve hoodies are. You know where to find me. I'm I'm, I'm uh, golfing up in your your area this Sunday. Where? I'm golfing at Indian Creek. Like Indian Creek. Never golfed there. Yeah. So Sunday sounds like that, a good that, day for is, me. Is that close to your house? Not, yeah. I heard his house is on the golf course. Oh, is it on? The- <laughs> <laughs> Are you on the whole set? Boy, you guys are out here spreading, <laughs> spreading falsified information that to the people. Looks, if looks that's can no kill. Good. That's no good to be doing that. Are you, are you in the Gretna area? Mm-hmm. Or Elkhorn? Gretna. Because you said Elkhorn last time. 
How many golf balls do you have in your backyard? Right <laughs> <laughs> Nick, are you home? And you got like notes on me, brother? I just have good, good memories. <laughs> yeah, I'm an Elkhorn. Because he cares about you, Strick. He wants he wants to know how to do a wedding. I just need to tell the yeah. cops when they're coming looking for you, like, hey, this is the vicinity well, of the I area. Hope they don't have to. Well, Yo, well yeah, I watch yeah. movies though. Like, like I'm I'm a, such okay. a movie buff that I when I'm watching movies, I'm like, dang, can this really happen? Like, yeah. you know, people like like literally following you and tracking you oh, down. Oh, it's terrifying. And, yeah, no, it's, it's terrifying. Have you, ever, out there. have you ever just been like driving somewhere and you're just like, that car has been following me for a yes, really long time? Yes, and I have. Like, and I've diverted. And I've diverted. Really? Yeah. I went a whole different track. Maybe I'm just. Oh, you don't pay attention. You don't pay attention. Maybe I just. Maybe I just don't expect people to follow. Well, I don't either. Like, I'm just like, I'm not important. But like, I'm just driving and I'm just like, I'm just like, hey, this truck's been following me for a real long time. Did you hear Austin Austin said, yeah, I've had that happen to me all the time. Yeah, Austin's a big deal. Once or twice a year. It's kind of scary. Once or twice a year. It's a little scary. You're just driving around. You're just like, I feel like this car, like, I have no reason for that to happen. But I'm like, I feel like this car's following me. So I'll just take like a left turn when I don't need to. No, I especially do that walking back like to the garage. You know, if I feel like I've gone the same way, too many times it's like just in case someone's tailing me i'm just gonna go a slightly different route okay here's uh, i would say necessary i change i change my routes when i go home because just in case somebody's been like waiting like you know two weeks they're just like all right he drives by here at this time this is the route that he the cops in here oh we know i never once, had the gun yeah, yeah. every once in a while i'm just like i'm gonna go this way hmm yeah, Re- reversely i worry about if people think i'm following them Mm. I don't worry about being followed. I worry about people thinking I'm following them. Especially like when you have to take two lefts at the same the yeah. same time. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gotta be weird to people. <laughs> because I I, I also yeah, you're uh-huh. just like, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Like And I, they might not even notice, but you do. So no, here, here's the thing. Notice. They'd be <laughs> so looking at you I, I followed him. somebody unintentionally from the parking garage to Omaha like two <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> And we both, <laughs> we, we, we both exited the same we place. We exited the same t- time, and we both got off at 370's exit. Oh, <laughs> wow. And thankfully, I turned right, they turned left. They turned left because you were following them. Exactly. They, they actually had to go right. Like, that's one of those where I'm like, I quickly. <laughs> they were going to Papillion. Yeah, they were like, like, I, quickly, I, I quickly put on my blinker to right. let them know. To she like to show him like, hey, I'm turning right. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm turning right no matter what. <laughs> don't do that. So, so I, I just I I get nervous about people thinking I'm following them. Yeah, I promise Great. I'm not following you. I promise. <laughs> anyway, um, guys, UConn wins the Natty last night. Uh, now we have official word from John Calipari. No official word from either university. Official word from Coach Cal though that he is parting ways, moving on, leaving Lexington. Dan Hurley to Lexington. What are the possibilities? Dan Hurley says, no, it's not happening. But hey, for like a $4 million raise and for a chance to hmm. really cement your legacy as a college basketball coach. But couldn't you do that at UConn? As a, uh, maybe. Cl- cl- me, me and Austin talked about this yesterday in, in, the, same, okay. in the same context <laughs> yeah. that you're bringing up, yeah. which is pretty dope that you're, you're, you're thinking kind of where we went yesterday yeah. with it. Yeah. Go ahead, Austin. I know you want to kill the it. man out. Uh, no, that's that's just what I was going to say is that we, we kind of talked through it and UConn, I finally begrudgingly admit they're a blue blood, okay. but they're by far the most recent blue blood. Okay. Um, but man, it's Kentucky. That's it's my Kentucky. Point. Like, I don't know like, if it's the one, best job the in college basketball, but uh, Strick and I are talking about this. Like, yeah. if it's not the best job, yeah. the most prestigious job. It's one of the yeah. best jobs. So you can build something really darn good, great, elite at UConn. You absolutely can. But man, I, I get the Hurley's a Northeast family. It's royalty absolutely. up there in that Northeast corner. But Shout it's, to Jersey. it's Kentucky. Do, do you pass up a chance to go to Kentucky? I can see the argument for staying it's, there. But how many times, if you're a competitor, bingo. do you get a chance to say, Kentucky wants me. How? Often, what if? What can I? What, how much more can I even do there compared I, to here? I heard how, you guys talking about this yesterday and kind of mentioning the fact that there wasn't anybody in line to take that yeah, job. Mm-hmm, where yeah. at Duke they had somebody in mind. They didn't really open it up to the public. They're like, we got yeah. a guy at mm-hmm. North Carolina. They're like, we got a guy. Like this is those are those are you know the blue bloods, the bluest of the blue. You got Kentucky, one of the bluest of the blue bloods, 
And they didn't have anybody in line. They weren't prepared for Coach Cal yeah. to leave. And now that he finally makes it official, Ooh. they can actually go out, as Nick was saying earlier, they can go out and start looking for people. And if they're looking at Dan Hurley, you know, he said it. You're in the moment. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not leaving. My wife is from, I think it was Rhode Island. And, you know, we I finally got her closer to where she's from. And I can't afford a divorce right now. Like, that's, that's what he said. And um, But you're right. It is Kentucky. But I feel like. With UConn, you finally admitting it's a blue blood. I thought that they were a blue blood before. Like, I feel like you can build something there with what he's been doing and and the history that UConn does have and the royalty that the Hurley name carries up in that Northeast area that you can build something really special up at UConn. And although you won't get the same amount of like recruiting, you know, nudge that you would get at Kentucky. I know that's what I'm saying. He doesn't need it. You wouldn't get the same uh, kind of recruiting nudge at UConn that you would at Kentucky, but going back to back national championships, like I, you don't need the recruiting I, nudge. I sit, I sit here and, and kind Are of. You gonna let me talk? talk? Yeah, in a second. And to your point, Austin, <laughs> how often does a job like Kentucky come over? Take control. Similar to Alabama football. I think yeah. of it even as like like Oklahoma football to some degree. <laughs> think about like what Bud Wilkinson was yeah. doing back in the day, and then when that job came open. It really didn't come open because exactly. it was, you know, Bob Stoops to, to Lincoln Riley. Like, and then 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 I feel like Oklahoma really had to settle with Brent Venables. Like, I get bringing him home, but, exactly. but that's what we he don't, was waiting for. Right, and that, that's just the thing. Brent Venables wanted Oklahoma more than Oklahoma wanted Brent Venables. I'm pretty sure. And this is where I, I love the idea the same of with this. Nebraska wanted No, let me be quiet. Stop yeah, it. I know where you're going, man. <laughs> but we, we just so rarely get a chance to see these blue bloods flex their muscle. You know, and say, hey, this is our sport. We run this. You play by our rules. Even think about like UCLA post Wooden. Yeah, they won one in 95, but Alford um, going to get Mick Cronin. Mick Cronin. Like, makes a good coach, but does Mick Cronin scream blue blood? Do you, yeah. he, he does not. So I, I'm excited to see, and I really want Kentucky to knock over a big domino. I want to see a blue exactly. blood flex its muscle. Who is, who is like the dude? right now outside of Hurley like who is the dude I personally said there's no one that can take this job that's up and coming that's in you know the shocker smart type of you know flow I don't think because you want some people again. stay there no I'm just saying that you know that that type of flow that they, mm-hmm. they can't they can't handle that it has to be somebody like Kelvin Sampson Mark Few Few, uh, was, but few is few is perfect up in Spokane. Right, Actually, that that's what I'm the saying. Yeah, there's certain people that I don't believe will touch it because one, there's a bunch of newcomers. Yeah. Then you're you yeah. you know me personally, I'm looking at Hurley. I I, I told I told uh, my partner yesterday, Austin. I said, listen. I'm using this as super leverage. Like I'm staying yeah. in Kentucky. I love the that, Big East. I'm like, we're one of the best conferences in the basketball. That's that's mm-hmm. what I told Jay when he was in here for the first segment. Is I was I said, you know, if you're UConn, you don't you don't mess around. Like you no. you this you is, better this do is it. today is the day because at that time we hadn't had the statement from Kentucky, mm-hmm. hadn't had a statement. Well, we still don't have a statement from Kentucky. Hadn't had a statement from Coach Cal, which then basically per NCAA rules can't allow Kentucky to contact other coaches until until mm-hmm. you have the official resignation in hand. And it's like, that's UConn's time to where they figure everything out. But to Jay's point, they don't have the money. They don't have, yeah. they don't have that type of money. Mm-hmm. So that's where the big blo- the blue blood fe- flexing their muscles comes into play. And guys, like once again, going back to like the jobs being open to, to compare it to football, like, yeah, LSU, Oklahoma, those places open up. And maybe not so much LSU, Oklahoma, you know, things like that. This is, I mean, this job would be comparison to Alabama, to Georgia. Mm-hmm. And, and that's just different. It, those are different types of jobs to where I don't care how much Dan Hurley says, yeah, you know what? Listen, I, I have made UConn a blue blood. We've won back-to-back titles. But opportunities don't like, like this don't come yeah. around. If ever but just like once, maybe twice in a career. I, I compared this this uh, situation with, with Strick. I want your guys' thoughts on it. Nate Oates and Mark Stoops have the same job. They have the same job. They're the yeah. second fiddle at their university. They are the safest guys yep. Yep. in those universities. 
obviously what Nate Oates has done, elevating Alabama um, to the Final Four level, that's incredible. That's a job well done. Yeah. Bama won't care in a month. <laughs> it's spring mm-hmm. football time yeah. Yeah. down there. there. And on that, that flip side, Mark Stoops has been at Kentucky for, what, 10 years been or so? Mediocre. Now? I mean, Not he's mediocre. Pretty good. Like, he's but popped up. They have pretty good. Slight, slightly Program. above average. Yeah. Yeah. Slightly above average. Uh, Eight he's, wins. He's they they would have won the Big Ten West more than half He doesn't have to. Time. There you go. Yeah, he doesn't you know? have to. But that's all he has to do. So, like, to those do. two guys are the safest guys in the SEC well, conference. He's well, been the guy whose name sorry, gets mentioned. He's the guy that whose name gets mentioned in big-time coaching searches, but is never seriously But look at A&M. Look at A&M. A&M wanted to hire him. Yep, and then the fans are like, "No, he's not good enough. He's not yeah. exciting enough." And I think that's a win for Mark Stoops. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think you know these these types of jobs. There's so much timing involved in, in any job, but especially like if you're if you're Dan Hurley in this case, there's so much timing involved. Of I have to be at the top of my game. You are coming off of two national championships. You can ask for any amount of money, and they will be able to pay it. You can ask for almost as much as NIL as you need, and Kentucky will fund it. Mm -hmm. And you're playing at an already established blue blood that, yes, has expectations, but also has one national title in the last 15 years. Their last one. 2012. So has one national title. Haven't even really gotten past the second round. So so now now you're sitting there going, well, I just won two in one. uh, as just as good of a basketball conference as the SEC is, if not better, mm-hmm. why can't I do it? Mm-hmm. And, and, and then you throw on top of it is opportunities like this come around once in my career because at the next time there could be another coach that's just as good at coming off of a national title. Mm-hmm. I'm coming off of two. I, I just think so much of it's about timing and about opportunities, and these just don't come around You know, just every single coaching carousel. You don't see jobs like this open up and not have somebody in mind right at the start. So that's going to be the tough part. And with everything you mentioned, I know we said, you know, Mark Few is is perfect for Spokane, but like, has he, and this might seem a little black, has he gone as far as he can with Gonzaga right now? Like, would this be the step up that he needs in terms of being able to recruit better players to Kentucky and to Lexington that he can't get up at Gonzaga, up at Spokane? Like, could this be that next step to kind of bring him to that where, you know, you're getting to the final four, you're getting mm-hmm. the championships, but you haven't won it. Is this that kind of push that nudge that he needs? I, I, I'll just be brief so I can let Austin jump because <clears throat> Austin's Aus nipping, I know he is. nipping I at my it. heels. Like he's, yeah. <laughs> um, I, 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 I hear where you're guy. going. He got closer to the microphone. I, I hear where you're going. And I, and, and I think you're right to a sense. I think I think he has he has probably he he's probably maxed, but the mm. thing about few is he has a style. Yeah, right. There's certain coaches that have a style. Like, is it translatable? My question is only: Is the way Mark Few plays because Mark Few will take a guy like Hunter Salas and he'll just be moderate because it's a style, it's yeah. a system, it's a way that they play. Mm. Is the way that it that they play trans translatable to Kentucky and the the wanting to play there? Could I you, think it's possibly is, and that's all I'll say. Could you ask if it's exciting enough? See, that's I mean, does, does Kentucky guys, 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 oh, guys, Mark oh, guys, one hundred percent excited. There he's you go. made Final Four. Yes, he's I mean, he's been recruited to the highest level. He got Jalen Suggs and Ted Holmgren there was hoping yeah. for. in the same year. Yeah, was Mark Few for. has not maxed out. If you make the Final Four, you can win a national title. But he has. Okay. But he can't. But how long is how how long has he been at Gonzaga? Like twenty years since Monson left for Minnesota. Yeah. Funny enough. And here's here, here's the thing. What is it about Minnesota? Monson left Gonzaga for Minnesota, and Tubby Smith left Kentucky for Minnesota. Oh wow, yeah, that was crazy. Like, what are we? What is I it think about it's Minnesota? A lot of pressure. It's, maybe, it's a lot of pressure. maybe Coach Cal's actually going to Minnesota. <laughs> go go. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Sorry, Ben Johnson. Better year. See ya. Look, there's nothing in Minnesota. Not, you know, real talk. There's you can go up there and just. And there's mm-hmm. talent there. Yeah, yeah, there's talent. I mean, there's that's talent. Where Jay there's talent there. In the in the Great Lakes mm-hmm. area, there's yeah, so there's much talent, talent there. So I, if yeah. only Jay Foreman would have chose basketball. If only. Instead. Last thing before we we get get out of here, just A on. Foreman though. Remember, yes, yeah, just A <laughs> Foreman, no Jay. Um, let's. Uh, one more thing is, is it does it feel like a failure if Kentucky doesn't get be, uh, Dan Hurley? No. Depends Great. on who they get. I don't think so. I I, I like I said. I think. 
I think any top tier t- coach in the Big Twelve immediately mm-hmm. should jump. Like if you're a Big Twelve coach, like t- uh, like um, uh, Samson or somebody to that nature, if you're Big Twelve, bye, I'm out. Okay. Um, if you're if you're if you're a few, mm-hmm. I consider it. I mean, mm-hmm. I consider it a leverage. If I'm Dan Hur- Hurley and I don't want to go, I'm super leveraging. I would have been oh, on a plane. Yeah. I would have been on a plane when they won last night straight to Kentucky, just yep. on GP. Even if I was just playing through for a layover. Let me just sit on the right way. Right. Let me just sit on the runway for 30 minutes so it no, shows my plane me. Yeah. So it shows that my right. plane, my plane, my plane landed, landed here. It took off. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I would do that if I didn't want to go. I, that, that'd be my, go ahead. Really quickly, the reason I say no is that I think five, maybe seven years ago, my answer would have been different. But I with you or with, with, with anyone, or with, with anybody. yeah. If Kentucky doesn't get Coach X, is it a failure? Yeah. There is never one perfect coach for the job. Mm-hmm. There's not. I think that's a trap that is easy to fall into because it makes a lot of sense from the outside. But the best coaches and, and the best. You know, athletic departments, organizations, if you throw collectives and boosters in there, can make about anyone work if they really want to, if they really try. Mm-hmm. Some guys will fail of their own accord. Sometimes things won't work, but there is Chuck's never mind. one perfect coach Texas. until you can look back at it and say, hey, this yeah. ended up being Sarkeesian. the perfect fit. Stop. So, I mean, you look at Scott Frost in Nebraska. I mean, Michigan's had, had those same conversations about Jim Harbaugh, yeah. right? If not Harbaugh, then who? There's always someone else out there that can do the job. If they're properly supported and if they, you know, push themselves to grow enough, I would like to, to Kentucky. Uh, I would like to throw Austin. Kentucky? Yeah, Austin Can Stricky? And, Stricky? Can Stricky? Hey, Austin Kentucky. and Strick's names in the in the hat for the for Kentucky a, for job. A fraction of the I'll price. I'll be the reverse Jay Lucas. For a fraction saying, of the price. Hey, hey, if you're good enough to be Duke's shooting coach, I mean, I'll be the reverse uh, Jay Lucas. <laughs> what uh, what's coming up on the show today? Um, should be a good one. Should be a good show. We will get into Strick's bracket domination. My Facts. man tore it out the frame. Facts. This year, it was very well done. Yeah, uh, so we'll talk about better. that. Give Strick his flowers. The, the talk, seeds. <laughs> no, talk some UConn, Purdue. Um, the NCAA might, in a couple weeks here, a week and a half, be tying free transfers to academics. Mm. What could that mean if they make that rule change? And we might hear from uh, Ed Foley and Evan Cooper as well. There it is. There it is. A lot of spring ball stuff. We'll talk definitely more about that tomorrow on the block with Strick and Austin is coming up next. Good stuff there. So stick around. And tune into On the Block and Old School to finish out your afternoon and then ticket weeknights later on this evening. Appreciate Jay Foreman hanging out with us for the first 35 minutes of the show or so. But we will talk to you tomorrow. Adios. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM for 93.7 The Ticket. Attention all Wings fans. 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 Tall Boys in Bud Light, Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 Cent Wings. At Southeast Community College, community is our middle name. Our continuing education classes offer personal interest, traffic safety and licensing, online learning, and adult education classes across Southeast Nebraska or online in your own home. Learn to ride a motorcycle, how to start a small business, how to dance, or take a course to advance in your current career path. See the full schedule of continuing education classes online at southeast.edu slash continuing. SCC, your path to possible. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're 